Welcome to this introduction to tonic structural and the structural workflow. First off, what is tonic structural? Structural produces safe, de-identified versions of your production data for use in software development and testing. The de-identified data mimics the shape of the original data, including your data's relationships. It swaps out highly sensitive values, such as personally identifiable information, names, identifiers, and locations, with realistic, functional, and compliant replacements. Structural allows you to get the most value out of your data. Your engineering teams have instant access to de-identified data, including datasets in a variety of sizes that they can use to develop and test new features and functions. In this video, we'll guide you through the basic structural workflow, connecting to your data, identifying sensitive values, configuring the data transformation, and generating the de-identified output. So how do you get started? The first step is to connect to your source production data. Structural can work with application databases, data warehouses, Spark-based data, and files from cloud storage or a local file system. To set up the connection, you create a structural workspace. For this demo, we'll use an example PostgreSQL database that contains data related to retail transactions. After you connect to your source data, you tell Structural where to put the de-identified data. One option is to write the transformed data to a destination database of the same type. For some data connectors, you can write the data to a data snapshot in Tonic Ephemeral. Ephemeral is a Tonic AI product that creates temporary data environments for streamlined data provisioning and use in development and testing. Structural can create a free Ephemeral trial account for you. From Ephemeral, you can use the snapshot to create any number of databases. And finally, for some data connectors, you can write the output to a volume in a container repository on a Kubernetes cluster. For cloud storage files, you provide the storage location for the transformed files. Next, you identify the sensitive values in the data. When you connect to your source data, Structural automatically runs a sensitivity scan to identify columns that contain sensitive values. This initial scan flags columns that contain sensitive information. You can also create custom sensitivity rules to identify sensitive columns that Structural does not automatically detect. For example, if the values are specific to your organization or your industry. These rules are based on column names. Once you configure them, they are included in future scans. Now that you know which data to protect, you can figure how to transform it. A key component of this step is to assign structural generators to sensitive columns. A generator performs the data transformation for a column. Structural offers versatile generators to accommodate specific information types, such as names or phone numbers, and data types, such as numbers or JSON. Other generators perform more general transformations. You can also configure generator presets, which are saved configurations of a generator. Having common configurations available speeds up the workspace setup and enables data governance by ensuring that your team's data transformations adhere to your organization's requirements. To maintain realism in the transformed data, generators offer options such as consistency in a column. The same source value produces the same destination value. Consistency with another column. The same source value in one column produces the same destination value in a related column, and linking columns that have a relationship, such as different parts of an address. The Privacy Hub helps you to track your current progress in protecting the sensitive data. Your goal is to have zero unprotected sensitive columns. To start, you can apply the generators that Structural recommends for each type of detected value. The Recommended Generators panel displays the columns and the recommendations for each sensitivity type, including custom sensitivity rules. The recommendations also show when columns can be linked. You can then apply any or all of the recommended generators, including the links between the linkable columns. Database View provides a complete view of the tables and columns in your source data. 
It shows the generators that are applied to each column and allows you to change the column configuration. In addition to replacing sensitive values, you might also want to reduce the size of the data to make it more portable and easier to work with. Structural's patented subsetter allows you to produce a smaller subset of data that maintains referential integrity. For example, you can shrink your data set down to a random 5% of transaction records along with the related records in other tables. Or you can use a custom WHERE clause to include, for example, transactions that occurred in the United States along with related records in other tables. The subset in graph view provides a quick view of which tables are in the subset and how they are connected. After you finish configuring your data transformations, you run the data generation. The data generation process uses the table, column, and subsetting configurations to create your output data. The jobs view allows you to track the generation and to see details about a job and its results. Your transformed data is then ready for you to use in your output destination. For local files, you can download the results from Structural. If the destination data is in an ephemeral data snapshot, you can go to ephemeral and use the snapshot to create new databases. To recap, Structural allows you to generate data that looks like your original data but is free from personally identifiable information or other sensitive values. You first connect to your source data, which might be a database or a set of files. Next, you identify the sensitive information using Structural's built-in detectors and custom sensitivity rules. You configure the data generation to ensure that sensitive data is transformed. You can also use subsetting to create a smaller set of data. Finally, after you finish the configuration, you run the data generation to populate your destination database or create transformed versions of your files. And that concludes our overview of the Tonic Structural Workflow. To learn more, check out our other videos, our blogs, or the Structural Product Docs.